Hello Guy, and welcome to Exposit the Word. Our question for today, how can two spirit-filled Christians come to completely different conclusions with the same text? Mm. Well, it, it does happen. <laughs> You're <laughs> absolutely right. Yeah. And I, I think there, there are lots of reasons why that could be. Um, for, for one thing, we are, we're all learning uh, as disciples. That's what it means to be a Christian. We are disciples. We are learners in the yeah. school of Christ. Iron sharpens iron. And sometimes as two believers meet one another and they present different understandings of, of scriptures, that becomes the occasion for them to study the scripture together. Yeah. And God brings a, a wonderful harmony or unity out of that around yeah. the, the meaning of scripture. Uh, we're, we also have to be very mindful that sin remains in the best of believers and sin impairs our reading and application of scripture mm -hmm. and that sin is responsible for errors mm -hmm. of interpretation of scripture. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that if I disagree with my brother that on a matter of interpretation of scripture, that the only explanation is, well, he's in sin. But I do think we have to take that into account. Yeah. Uh, God wants us to be studying the scripture together and it's as we do so that that helps to refine us and come to a clearer understanding of the meaning of Scripture. Mm. And I think you could look through 2,000 years of church history and see how God has been doing that in the life of the church over and over. Yeah.